with the Casking Channel. Hey, I'm Chris with the Casking Channel. Yeah. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Kristen with the Casking Channel and I just caught myself a redfish. I'm fishing here with Mandy and Darcy and um, I'm going to show you how to properly release this fish. Thing like me. Hey, I'm Kristen with the Cash King Channel and I've just caught this sheep's head and I want to show y'all today how to um, demonstrate how to release it the right way. So you're going to catch a fish and you're going to want to hold it by the belly, kind of like this. And if you're anything like me, ah! if you're anything like me and my friends, you know, some things like that happens and you're going to want to either take a quick pick, give it a little kiss, and then you're going to want to release it. So when you release a fish, if it's been out of the water for a while, you're going to want to do an X motion, kind of like this, when you put it back in the water. And um, he's going to kick right off and swim off because he hasn't been out that long, but he just kind of, you know. And there he goes, and that's how you do it. All right, so we caught ourselves another sheep's head. With the sheep's head species, you gotta be careful because they have these really sharp spines on their back. So if you have to hold them from here, you can use your hand like this to pull them down. But again, you're gonna kind of hold them from the belly, maybe a hand in the gill, you know, in case it jumps away. And again, you're gonna take your picture, give them a little kiss, and you're gonna give them that S-shaped motion if he's been out, but this guy's just gonna kick right off. So. And there we have it. All right, so today I went fishing with my girlfriends. We were using shrimp and fiddler crabs that we caught ourselves. And we actually were able to catch a nice red drum on the shrimp, but we took some video and it didn't really turn out. We had some phone glitch problems, which everybody has. And um, yeah, the other fish that we caught, the sheep said, were caught on the fiddler crabs. And I hope that from this video, you were able to learn how to properly release the fish. Always remember not to go back and forth with the fish because that can actually drown the fish. Always the S motion. But um, yeah, thank you for watching. Um, cats can keep fishing fun and tune in next time. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Tune in next time for our next video. Thanks fishing friends.